Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to access blocked websites without a VPN. I'm not just going to show you one method, but I'm going to show you four. I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute. And let's get started. All right, so the very first method that I would like to show you is using Google Translate. Oddly enough, most people don't think of Google Translate as a means to access blocked websites, but it, you can actually use it to do that. So let me show you real quick. In my country, unable to access the BBC, right? So when I go ahead and type in BBC, okay, dot com, you can see that it doesn't show up, right? Oops, that's BBX. C com. Ah, let me just click on the link, bbc.com. All right, as you can see, it's blocked. <laughs> I'm unable to access the BBC. All right, so the very first method I would rec recommend that you do is you go over to Google Translate and you just type in the link directly. That's it, bbc.com and click enter. And then from there, you just click on the link. And let it load. It's going to take a little while. All right, and there you go. So I'm able to load the BBC using. Google Translate, and this works for about, I'd say about 80% of the links, that, the websites that you're trying to access. So it's very simple. Let me just review that real quick. You simply type the link in here. You, you don't have to even set the language and then you can go ahead and access the link here. All right. So that's the first method on how to ac how to get access to a restricted website without a VPN. Let me show you the second method. The second method is using a website called BlockAway, and it's a free proxy server. So I would go ahead and click this right here, and I would do the same thing and type in the link that I'm trying to access. BBC, oops, com. Click on go. Wait for it to launch. And there you have it. You had the BBC. Now, obviously you can use this for other block sites, but for me, I really like to get access to the BBC because uh, I like their news reporting. Unfortunately, the country I'm at it has it blocked. So that's why I looked up these ways, these methods of how to access it without a VPN. So I can share it with you guys and girls. All right, so that's the second way to access a website without using a VPN is using this site called he right here. All right, the next method in which you can use to access a web blocked website without a VPN would be called with, basically you can use a, a site called Road App. All right, so for Road App, all you have to do is sign up and you can use the temporary web browser in here to go ahead and access your blocked website. It's a little bit more involved, a little bit more steps, but it's not a bad option if you're in a, in a pinch. And lastly, oh, it's the BBC. The last method I'd like to show you would be using something called the Firefox browser. Now I know it says, well, let me just type in real quick. Actually, not Brave Browser, sorry. All right, so this is what you would go ahead and install. It's a great browser. I use it for privacy and also to generate some 
you know, passive cryptocurrency while surfing the web. It's really not that much, but it's still better than nothing. All right. So once you have this downloaded, you can easily access a restricted website by going in, right clicking onto your options and then clicking onto new private window with tour. And then from here, you can just simply enter your website. I'm entering bbc.com and you go ahead and click enter and let it connect. It's the only downside of this is it's a bit, it's a bit slow and there you, you have it. All right. So I know I, I said, I'm not going to use any uh, VPN, all right, but this is a tour browser. I hope that's a good, a decent ex excuse, right? but uh, I prefer to try to give you as many options as possible. The last option. You can go ahead and install Opera Mini and basically do the same thing. You would just basically install your Opera Mini. You would then turn on your VPN setting. And then after that, you can go ahead and browse your block website. So once again, let me show you those four methods. Get out of this. Okay, the first method is Google Translate. The second method is ac accessing Block Away. The third method is using Brave Browser. And the fourth method is using the Opera Mini Browser. Now, you can use free VPNs if, if you so choose, but not everyone is allowed to do that. Let's say you're using a public computer, maybe in the library, maybe a university, they will not allow you to install software onto their, onto their computer. So you, if you need to access certain websites, the best way to do it would be the method I showed you earlier. I personally prefer Google translate because it's the easiest method. After that, I like to use blocked, blocked away. Okay. I'll leave a link in the description below. And then after that, I would like to use the brave browser, which is a tour. Okay. So it's very safe. And the last one is opera mini. That one's okay. Yeah. It, it does use a, it doesn't have a built-in VPN in that browser. So it is like a gray zone, right? You're not installing VPN software, but you are using a, a, a browser with VPN capabilities. That one's okay. You, you still have to install a software for that one. And that might not be the ideal situation, but those are four options that you can use. So I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, could you please hit the like button? Vince from Digital Menace 2, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.